Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and Above AVL. And in this video, we're going to talk about custom resolutions in new Novastar Coex and VMP processors, how they affect you, and most importantly, should you use them on your next project? Let's dive in. The really cool thing about uh, the latest line of Novastar processors, which if you're watching this five years into the future, is probably the current line, but the Novastar VMP processors, they're kind of the current and the new processors. Um, if you're new to LED and you're just getting into walls, we recommend these. Uh, VMP processors include like the KU20, like I'm using today, the MX series, etc. And they have a couple really big advantages to them these processors do. The first is their VMP software, which is what we're looking at uh, right here on the screen, is just miles ahead of the old Nova LCT software in terms of setup. Okay, we have other videos that kind of walk through the, the basic setup. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about resolution and making your content work for your video wall. A lot of times, it, it really varies on what you're sending your wall, what software you're using as to how you're going to size things in the processor. So I just want to walk through some examples today just on this really simple wall that's behind me and we'll probably switch to it uh, from time to time over here. Okay, um, so that you can really see what's going on. So what I've got going here, first of all, is I just have a basic nine panel wall. This is my DVS visitor wall. We like it a lot. And we've got it here on the Windows desktop background, right? Nice and simple, very easy. Um, we've we've put it in here, we've mapped it, um, and that's what it looks like, right? Um, and, you know, this works, right? Um, but, you know, I'm only using a small section of my screen. Um, so, like, if I go and grab one of my LED wall backdrops and start playing it over on that monitor, it's only going to get, like, the center of that backdrop. It's not going to scale it down to fill the screen. So... If we're trying to fill the screen, basically, there's a couple options, a couple things we can look at in order to do that. Um, probably the laziest and easiest way that I have found is to go ahead and go for your HDMI source. And this is only going to work on HDMI sources. And there's going to be a couple other caveats we're going to talk about. But you can go to the EDID here. And the EDID basically is what the HDMI port on the processor is shooting back to the computer to tell it, hey, I'm a computer monitor, this is my size. And so we can set that to custom and we can go as low as 800 by 600. I'm gonna go 800 by 800 here because I have a square image, right, on my wall. When I press apply, the computer's gonna chill out for a minute, lose sync, and hopefully all goes well in screen capture land. And, and now we have a very stretched screen on this canvas. And if we look at the layout, of course, this still sits in the middle of the layout. But, um, so that's not quite right. But if we go ahead and then we go to our canvas size here, which we can select our source, okay? We can then go ahead and select that and also make it 800 by 800 or something similar, right? Um, and so now we've adjusted the size of that layer. Now, if we click on here, it shows our canvas size is eight by eight. Now, if we take our panels and we drag them in, we actually kind of fill most of the screen. And so using a custom resolution like this can be really beneficial when you've just got a quick and easy um, LED wall of any size. This one's pushing the size limit on the small end, um, so I can't quite make it fill the whole wall, but it enables you to basically really quickly scale from a computer just any output, just whatever program it is, you can kick it full screen and you're going to get it on the wall. Um, other programs, though, are, are going to make this easier. So there's a, there's a couple caveats to custom resolutions. Um, the first is simply put, if you're using like SDI or you're using converters to run down SDI to, to send your signal a longer distance or fiber or something similar like that, then the custom edit often won't work because you're going to use converters like Blackmagic converters or decimators. And depending on what model you have and what configuration, they may or may not like doing non-standard resolutions, right? They'll do 
1920 by 1080. They'll do lots of standard 16 by 9 resolutions or even 16 by 10, but they they won't do something that's custom that fits the size of your wall perfectly, right? So in that case, what you're, you're probably going to do is set everything back to normal. Just go back to a standard, you know, 1920 by 1080 here. Then we grab our canvas. Once it comes back, whew, that was fun. Um, and switch this guy to 1920 by 1080. Perfect. Make sure that our wall is on there and then most often we're just going to stick it in the upper left hand corner and forget about the custom resolution um, now the other quick and dirty way to do this is you can downscale from this full hd picture um, to your wall itself so if we go to the source tab for example we can uh, oops, I'm trying to oh i'm hitting the wrong key for zoom we can go ahead and we can drag this um, until it, it actually fits our wall perfectly. So, for example, let's we'll go ahead, let's switch back over to that camera. And we can literally just, we just start dragging it in, dragging, 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 right, until we see it fill our wall perfectly or close to it. That's a few pixels off. Um, it's actually going to be um, 504 by 504 because it's a 2.9 and there you, we've got a nicely scaled image um, doesn't look too stretched and it fills our wall it is going to be stretched though um, so you may want to do the math on what makes a 60 by 9 and you'll be off to the races um, still to the computer it's 1920 by 1080 we're just downscaling it in the processor which generally should be fine and look fine um, it's just another way to do it so, at the end of the day, um, there are lots of ways to run content to your LED processor. Uh, more often than not, it does make sense to stick in a, a standard resolution for your EDID, but it may make sense, and it often makes sense, to change the size of your source, okay? Even if we just drag it out to about 16 by 9, and we could do the math using a calculator, um, and stick the layout in the upper left-hand corner, and that often gives you the most bang for the buck in terms of, you know, making an image fill. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's down and dirty and you just want to take something full screen it, pop this in the center, you know, off you go to the races, the VJ or whatever is playing something full screen, you know, and they don't have any real VJ software, you know, that could work, right? As you can see, there's lots of different ways you can slice this, lots of different ways to make a resolution fit into one of these processors, but... The biggest key is you don't have to leave it at a full HD signal, especially if your wall's smaller than that, or a 4K signal, especially if your wall's way smaller than that. Um, you can always resize it. Um, the biggest key is trying not to stretch it, but just scale it, downscale it to fit your wall. If you're watching this video, hey, you're probably new to this video wall thing. Maybe you're just researching, you're considering getting one for uh, your space. We'd love to help at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We have a full LED wall calculator. Boom. You enter your info, you hit the results, we send you those. And more importantly, we follow up with you to make sure that you can get an LED wall that one, you're confident in, that's going to work well for you, and two, that is dependable and reliable and fits a good budget. So if that sounds good, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. We love to help. Subscribe here because we're going to have more and more videos here for you on video walls. Until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.